Below is a structural formula for ethanol. Complete its uh, Lewis structure and predict the two angles, one and two. One is this angle, two is this one. As uh, predicted by Vesper theory, Vesper theory is a valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. What are the approximate values for the two bond angles indicated by angle 1 and angle 2 in the figure. So in order to find the bond angle, we need to find the uh, molecular geometry first or the molecular shape first. Uh, before we can find out the molecular shape, we have to find out the uh, uh, the electron geometry, is all right? So then we want to make sure if there are lone pairs, we have to add those lone pairs, okay? So uh, that's what we need to do. Uh, let's say for oxygen right here, so we have uh, two electrons in this bond, single bond, and then we have another two in this single bond, that total of four, and we know oxygen requires eight electrons to feed the octet rule, so there should be two pairs of, un uh, so of lone pair electrons actually surrounding oxygen. So now I... Uh, I did the two long pairs on oxygen. Surrounding this oxygen, there are two long pairs plus two bonding pairs. That's total of four electron groups. Then the uh, electron geometry here is tetrahedral. And now let's take a look at this central atom, carbon, okay? That's one, two, three, four groups, bonding groups, so of electrons. So that's four. Therefore, this also should assume the uh, uh, tetrahedral uh, geometry. Okay. Now let me point it out. Uh, you see this uh, structural formula. You know, especially in terms of finding out the bond angle, it's misleading. So the structural formula is misleading. So if you just predict, okay, based on this drawing, you can easily say, okay, angle 1 is 90 degrees, angle 2 is 180 degrees. That is wrong. Because tetrahedral looks like this. So this is how tetrahedral looks like, okay? It is not really, does not look like this, 90 degrees each. So between each adjacent bond, the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. So between these two, 109.5, between these two, 109.5, between these two, 109.5, between these two, 109.5. Therefore, angle 1 is 109.5 degrees, so not 90, okay? Now let's look at angle 2, though, okay? So let's take a look at this uh, uh, 3D uh, structure uh, for ethanol, okay? So from this drawing, looks like 180 degrees, and we know it is incorrect because the Electron geometry is tetrahedral, and now you can see, all right? And there's, there are two pairs, long pair electrons surrounding this. Uh, okay, now you can see, yeah, the uh, electron geometry is tetrahedral, especially those long pairs, they occupy larger space, all right? So... Therefore, if you just look at the molecular geometry, those two bonds, the angle should be the same as the ones in the tetrahedral geometry. Is that right? So, therefore, the shape here surrounding this oxygen central atom is not linear, rather than 
rather actually is bent, and the the the, the bound angle should be close to one o nine point five degree. But as a matter of fact, that should be slightly less than one o nine degrees, because those two long hairs they occupy greater space. So angle two should be slightly less than one o nine degrees. Angle one, one o nine degree, one o two, yeah, very close to one o nine degree. So therefore, the correct answer should be E. And this the uh, um, a three D model for uh, uh, ethanol, as you can see. You see that's carbon, uh, and then hydrogen, 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 tetrahedral, and then this the second carbon. Again, you see on that side, that's a carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. So that's those two hydrogens. And then here is the oxygen. And then the two long pairs, of course, we don't see when we talk about molecular geometry or molecular shape. So that's the bent structure, 109 degrees. So for both angles, they are just 109, 109, even though this one, angle number two is slightly less. Nice than one or ninety degree. Okay, that's a, this question.